Happy day crystal souls, hope you're doing amazing. Today I'm coming with an Epic card reading and this one is who is the one. When you will pick your group and when you are ready, you can find the timestamp in the comments down below. By the way, if you are interested to book a personal reading with me, I'll be happy to help you. All you need to do is to find all the information down below. Same thing for my shop and my Instagram. I try to post stories with daily readings and also some spiritual related posts and yeah. Also, I try to do live to connect with you guys sometimes, so if you want, you can find me out there. Alright, now let's start the reading. Before I start this reading, I wanted to tell you that if you are interested by the decks, all the crystals you are seeing, they are actually available on my shop. So if you want to, you can find the links down below. Here is the first group, the Labradorite, the second group, the Moonstone, and the third one with the Lapis Lazuli. Let's start with the first group. So the first card is the Emperor. So it seems like the one is actually someone that is destined to be with you. Because the Emperor is for me someone that is connected to you spiritually. Because I'm seeing the key of life and also the crystal ball. So this is someone you knew in a past life. This is someone that is actually a father figure on this card. So this is actually someone you will connect to and commit to. So this is a long-lasting relationship with that emperor. This is someone who is stable, this is a leader, this is someone who can be successful. This is also a person that will see yourself and really want to engage in a relationship if they see the potential of something that will last in time, something that is strong enough, that is structured enough. You can see the kids on the background. So this is totally a father figure. This is someone who wants to build a family with you. This is someone who wants stability in a relationship and security. You can also see growth all around. You can see the mountain. So this is a symbol of structure, someone who is grounded. The water is calm here. So this is someone who is very peaceful, who wants something easy, not something that is going to turn into a turmoil or a lot of conflict. No, this is someone who wants cool. I'm also seeing Aries as the sign, but it can be a but it can also be a different sign. But yeah, I'm seeing someone with stable structure, someone who wants something that will last in time, someone that wants commitment. And this can be, as I said, a spiritual connection with that person. So it can be a soulmate, or if you are on this twin flame journey, it can be a son that your twin flame or your divine counterpart in general is going to enter your life and offer you this stable relationship. You can also see the number four here, and the number four is a symbol of unity. So maybe you are already with this one and maybe you are asking yourself if this person is the one, if you feel like all the qualities I mentioned earlier is actually the qualities you can see in your partner, then this may be the one. Now if you do not feel like this is someone who is stable, a leader, this is someone who wants commitment or is seeing a future with you and actually planning things with you, then this might not be the one because this is not a player here. This is someone who wants security, something that's strong. The king of swords, so it can be air sign or Aries here. This is someone who is knowledgeable, independent, someone who is a leader again. So, and it's funny because I was actually seeing air sign here with someone that is stable, avoiding conflict, something that is going to be calm and peaceful. They want security in their relationships, this is for sure. And this king and emperor is going to seek for it, seek for someone that is going to be a fit. They are not going to be afraid to take their time in the very beginning, be analytic because this one is intelligent and wise with who is going to welcome in his life. So his life or her life because this is a general reading. But yeah, I'm saying that this is actually someone who wants security, who wants someone that is knowledgeable also. But I truly believe this person is seeking for their own mirror. Again, we have the mountains on the background. So this is someone who is grounded, someone that is strong, someone that is courageous. And this is someone that is not afraid to actually give their everything to make something work. So what I'm saying here is that this person you will attract is going to be very calm, 
very peaceful, very caring, very wise, very intelligent. And this can be a potential leader. So someone that can have a lot of money, a lot of stability, that is going to be emotionally available for you because they are not actually holding on to the past. They are seeking for something that is going to be empowering this present moment for them to have the best future. Because you can see with the crystal ball, this is about faith and destiny. So they are only going to welcome something that is going to empower them and that is going to allow them to lead the best future. You can also see the nature all around. So this is a big symbol of growth. They want a relationship. The one for you is someone that is going to want a relationship that can grow and that can nurture themselves in the process. They really want to be supported by someone who is understanding, caring, that can bring something more because they always seek for something to learn. They always want to explore. They always want to expand also. So this is super important for them to be with someone that has something special. The Eurofant. And again, I'm seeing this seeker type of energy. This is someone who is possibly, almost surely, <laughs> into spirituality because the Eurofant is someone that is awakened, someone who has a third eye open, and someone who is spiritually connected. It is understanding or she is understanding the law of attraction, how to attract things, how everything is working, how the universe is sending us messages. And this is a symbol of change, creation and balance. I have to say I'm seeing Libra energy here also. I mean, we have the air sign, balance, I was talking about stability, avoiding conflict. This is Libra energy especially, but it can be completely different. But for some of you, it may be Libra or maybe you are Libra and seeking for that type of energy as well, um, mirroring around you. I'm also seeing the crown here. So this is again reflecting with the king and the emperor energy they are stable they are shining they are leaders and this is why i believe you will actually attract someone that's very powerful and also spiritually because i truly believe this person is emotionally available this is someone who is understanding the connection i'm seeing these links the connection with the soul and understanding that you too are this time to be with each other with, with the crystal ball here. So in my opinion, this change will happen pretty quickly. I'm seeing summer season on this card, but it can come later on. I truly believe everything is just manifesting when we are ready, when we are welcoming the energy and when we reside in this energy. When you love yourself, you are likely going to attract the same type of person and they are going to be ready to love yourself as well because they love themselves enough and they are actually stable enough to welcome love outside of themselves. So this is someone that is ready. This is someone who is seeking for something deep. So it's going to be analytic about your knowledge maybe, your intelligence, because you could see the swords energy. But I also believe this is going to be someone who is going to seek deeper. Your emotions, how you feel, how you talk how you act um, and how your soul is, if there is a connection of the soul or if there is nothing that is really bonding with each other. If this isn't happening, I'm not seeing this person being engaged uh, with you. So what I'm seeing here, you will attract someone and the one for you is someone that is going to be like that, that is going to really connect with who you are, with your soul, with your essence and your core. We... <laughs> I mean, we have so many male figures here and very strong ones because the emperor is a father and the king and now the king of cups. And I was saying this, this person is emotionally available and the cups is actually water and water is linked to the emotions. So yes, it's for sure this person is emotionally available to you. This is someone who is structured enough. And you can see this person kind of being an entrepreneur. So it can be someone, as I said, who is a leader, can be a business person, businessman, businesswoman. Uh, it can be someone that is just successful in what they do. At least this is what I'm seeing here. Not just on this card, but also here. This is someone who is in control of their future, their career, their money, their finances, but also how they feel and their spirituality also. They truly believe that balance is the key. 
in order for them to grow because I'm seeing this graph thing going, going upward. I'm also seeing travel with the ship floating in the hair and the sun energy. So it can be the divine feminine or the divine masculine because this, this is a general reading. But I am seeing someone who is going to wait for someone that can impress them because you can see this look on his face it is being surprised not really expecting anything but still hoping that things are going to be wonderful that is going to surprise him in a way so i'm seeing this figure really falling for you the first moment they will see you there is a strong connection and i think his soul will recognize that you two has, has been sharing lifetimes with each other before and this is why his soul or her soul is going to call for yourself. So what I'm seeing here, this person is someone who wants structure, balance, growth in general and someone who can bring something very strong within themselves. They really want a deep connection. So this may be someone you will attract that is the one for you. You can also see this open window. So this is a symbol for me that there is openness. This person is looking into the future. And with the buildings, this is a symbol of construction, something that is strong, something that can last in time. And you could see this with the emperor. This is someone who wants commitment, that is looking for a relationship, that is going to grow in the future. The star. I have to admit, I truly believe for some of you, the one for you might be rather a celebrity because I'm seeing the star or someone that is shining in what they do and you can see it. He is very popular, very successful. This is someone who has a lot to offer and this one is talking about hope, dream coming true and inspiration. So I think the person you will attract is living their dreams. They are seeking for their dreams and they are living the best and shining in what they do. Um, because I truly believe this is what is going to offer them stability and this is what is going to allow them to feel proud of themselves. I'm also seeing some type of nurturing energy with the water, with the vase. So this is someone who has enough to offer. I'm also seeing the water being calm again. So this is someone who is peaceful and peaceful because they are happy and they are happy because they are actually manifesting around them all the things they've been dreaming of. So they are actually grateful for all the things they manifested and they are actually happy of what they experience. So they can reside in a happy energy and shine even brighter. So this is why I'm seeing the star here. And this is someone who is very hopeful. So this may be someone who is going to seek for the depth of you. This is someone who wants to shine with you. So he is going to seek or she is going to seek for someone that is going to be like this energy of the star. Someone that has a sparkle, a unique sparkle about themselves. I'm also seeing this person as their own pillar. So as I said, maturely, this person may be successful and also emotionally because they are in tune. They are actually happy and content with what they manifested. Maybe right now the only thing that's missing is love. The two of fire. I have to say I'm seeing twin flame on this card. And this one is actually a symbol of creation, perseverance, progress, and readiness. So if you choose this group and if you are on this twin flame journey, it can be a sign that during especially summer, the time will be right for you to shine with your twin flame. And I'm saying twin flame because I'm seeing the two of fire, two flames twin flames and I'm also seeing this lantern and the flame behind you so one is yours and the other one you are still seeking for it leading yourself in that direction so you are looking for your twin flame or wanting to reunite reconnect with your other soul with your split half of the soul because this is what a twin flame is so I'm seeing this you being on this journey, seeking for your other half in order for you to complete something. It can be a, a mission between you two, some type of destiny that I'm seeing here. The star, it can be that you are meant to bring light, being a light worker. We were talking about spirituality, connection, 
this is pretty clear here. If you are on this twin flame on this twin flame journey or seeking for someone that is a soulmate, I truly believe that there is something very strong between you two. And this is why your destination is towards this flame and passion and love that you will actually encounter with this person. So be ready for this because I truly believe that this message for you is to prepare yourself for this journey. For your twin flame or soulmate in order for you to shine with this person that is very very powerful and that has a beautiful influence on the mass on people because they are supposed to awaken people but i truly believe that this is also your mission you are supposed to shine you're supposed to share your knowledge your light in order for you to awaken people and in order for you to also ascend spiritually and open all your senses and discover more ab even about yourself or about your mission. There's something very beautiful here. So I think this is pushing you in that direction and announcing that you are meant to be with a soulmate or a twin flame in order for you to ascend spiritually or just to be happy with someone in your love life. And because this is talking about perseverance, I truly believe that for some of you, you're being a bit disappointed or you're not really seeing things evolve or manifest and you've been asking the universe to help you on this journey, but you're not really seeing any improvement. This is a card telling you, you need to push further. You need to be patient because it's going to take a little while sometimes. I'm not saying this is for everybody, but for some of you, you will need to actually work more. So maybe this will come after summer, which I think, as I said, this will come when you'll be ready and when the timing will be right for the both of you. So you need to be hoping about this and you need to be residing positive about this journey in order for you to keep pushing further and see what's waiting for you. So now I'm going to share two messages from the universe. So the first one is, when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. This is beautiful. You can see the moon here. So this is linked to the emotions, hope and dreams. So what I'm saying is that you need to reside hopeful. You need to seek for your dreams, seek for the dream person even in order for you to have a beautiful connection. And again, I'm seeing twin flame on this card because you can see these two owls kind of representing each other, adding the same color. So this is pretty much your blueprint being represented in the other soul. So if this is not your twin soul, this is someone you're really bounded with uh, in past life. So it's a soulmate that is very connected to you. But definitely this is the best couple here. And the last message. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Beautiful. And again, we have the third eye being open here. So this is asking you to see things, not so much with your eyes, but maybe more with your intuitive self, with how you may feel, your feelings, your emotions, in order for you to see clearly what is actually right for you. I'm seeing blue color here on these two cards, so this is about communication. So maybe you need to communicate your love, your passion for this person to enter your life. Or maybe to communicate to the universe that you are ready and you have faith in this one. So things can manifest a lot more quicker. But I believe this is about to manifest and you are being guided. You can see all the stars around you. So try to pay attention to any signs and synchronicities because you are being pushed in a direction where the right person is waiting for you. All right, let's move on to the second group. If you like this reading, please put a thumbs up. This is always super helpful. And also let me know down below what you think about this one. And if you're new, do not forget to subscribe. The second group. So the first card is the Five of Swords. So this is talking about conflict, self-interest, betrayal, and deceit. All right, not gonna lie, this group, when I was pulling the cards, I was a bit, a bit surprised because I was actually asking for all the one was, but I truly believe this turned more into a reading of kind of guiding you in another direction. I'm seeing this as you taking a direction that is too conflictual for you. This is actually, too much, this is very painful for you. So what I'm seeing is that you may need a redirection. I'm seeing the five and the five is a number of change, balance and creation. So in order for you to find balance 
in your life with a partner you need to find balance maybe within yourself maybe this conflict is, is not so much of the person you will attract or around you but more within yourself so you need to be ready before engaging in any type of relationship so if you feel like the imbalance this conflict the fear this trauma is coming within yourself then you need to heal yourself before taking a direction if you feel like this is coming outside of yourself then you need to change the company you surround yourself with in order for you to freely fly away towards something that is going to be bright because you can see the sky here and this one is blue offering you clarity and you can see yourself being guided by the fairies kind of wanting you to be free wanting you to move away from what's blocking you on the road so i think it's time for you to kind of reflect understand who is going to be right what is going to be right what are you looking for in a relationship but also what do you think is blocking you within yourself if you think this is coming from within um, but I truly believe this group is all about removing all these blocks, moving further freely towards something that is going to allow you to manifest someone that is right for you, that is a fit for you, and that is going to maybe free yourself from all these things for you to experience love, truly. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> I, I mean, I think this is something that's needed for some of you. So... If you feel like this is not your energy, maybe you need to pick another group. But if you are still residing in something that is linked to fear and trauma and pain and suffering or in a conflict, or maybe you're not really trustful or you cannot really trust someone, then this is the rating for you. But I believe if you are not seeing yourself in this one, you may need to pick another group or maybe this rating is not for you. So here we have the Nine of Swords. This is talking about nightmare, insomnia, fear and misery. So again, I'm seeing you as a prisoner of something and it can be a past relationship, it can be a past story, it can also be some type of programming. So maybe the way you see love is actually a program from, from your childhood. Uh, maybe the way you are seeing your parents or people around you, your friends, they were creating some type of image of what love is and you recognize that this is toxic and you recognize that you are also manifesting these type of relationships and if this is happening this is because you believe that this is love and so what you ask for when you tell the universe i am ready for love then you attract this image of love you created in the mind so if you feel like this one is toxic this one is not deserving well you need to reconnect with what love is. You need to rebuild this image of love in order for you to free yourself from this because otherwise you are going to encounter all these things over and over again and this is going to make you suffocate at the end of the day. You are going to feel stuck and paralyzed into something that is so repetitive and that is toxic, like karma. And I don't want you to experience this karma anymore. The number nine is about chaos before perfection. So I do not want you to reside in this chaotic energy. You deserve something beautiful something better and this is why i believe this change card is being here to tell you there is a possibility now you need to remove all these blockages all these fears all these things that may actually stop you to experience the best in order for you to free yourself i'm seeing the blue color of the of the bed of the atmosphere that you can see here so this may be some type of communication it can also be related to a creative block or communication block so I believe you wasn't expressing how you felt or maybe you need to express how you feel more in order for you to free yourself in a relationship or in your other relationships. But I truly believe you need to be authentic and true to who you are in order for you to move on freely. I'm also seeing the moon on the background and the window. The window is an open, openness to the world and this is showing you this moon so this is a symbol that the world wants you to see the universe wants you to see what your dream person is and now you are feeling emotionally so you can free yourself from anything that's blocking you to attract what is beautiful to experience in love are you surprised to see twice the same card it's it's crazy <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy to me because I'm seeing so much suffering and when I was pulling the cards, I was like, why? Why am I seeing these things coming up over and over again? I truly believe there is some type of karma related to that. 
And as I said, this may be in your subconscious mind. And I truly believe this is some type of programming that was installed in your mind. I'm seeing this connected to your mind. So I truly believe this, for the majority, happened because of that. Because you were surrounded by difficult relationships, painful relationships. Maybe your parents were divorced. Maybe something happened around you. Maybe you experienced divorce or some type of separation that was very painful. And right now you need to rebuild yourself. Because if you truly believe you deserved it, or if something was wrong with you, or I don't know, maybe you're blaming yourself so much that you believe you're a problem. But if you believe you're a problem, you are going to attract problematic people around you as well. Because you may know we attract our own energy. We are attracting our own mirrors. So this is super important to have a very positive image of ourselves. And if you're not satisfied about your image, it is time for you to work on this one. No, it's not going to be easy. But this is the only road you need to take in order for you to improve your life and to improve yourself. So now it's time for you to be responsible for the things you attract and for who you are in order for you to free yourself from this. Because you are not supposed to reside in this torturous energy or in karma, even from past life. You need to cut the cord of this. You need to start fresh and new. You need to be excited and look what's coming for you justice so this all the things you experience in my opinion happened in order for you to find something that is going to be fair for you i'm seeing the number 11 which is a healer number so in my opinion this is telling you you need to heal yourself from past wounds or maybe the person that will come to you is going to be like that but i do not believe you want to welcome someone that is broken you want to welcome someone that is going to have their job done that is ready to be in a relationship without picturing things with a filter of pain. What you can see on this card is a figure, someone that is shining, someone that is wanting to actually be empowered or that is wanting to diffuse their energy. So I truly believe that right now your energy may be condensed for the majority of you and now you feel like, okay, what do I need to do? What is the next step? You can see the feet. What is the next step for me? so I can shine, so I can attract people that are going to be stable, that are going to be loving and caring. Well, what you need to do is to become this person. Because as I said, you attract your mirror. Or the energy that you reside in is going to manifest again and again and again. Because if you are happy and content, you're staying in that energy. But if you are not happy, you're going to fight to free yourself from this one. So if you stay in a toxic atmosphere, you're telling the universe, bring me more so this is why it's super important for you to seek for freedom if you are in pain because if you stay here you're gonna attract even more so yeah i'm seeing you becoming your own pillar i'm seeing balance the scale here so you need to reside in an energy that is going to allow you to be balanced emotionally within yourself but also for you to attract someone that is going to be like this and i'm seeing air 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 sign. This is all about air sign here. And it's funny in a way because this is actually Libra. And Libra's mission, mostly, is to find balance in their life and freedom. They do not want to resign in a conflictual energy. So what I'm saying is that your mission may be to free yourself, to experience some type of karma, some lesson, but this is not to make you as a prisoner of that in your relationship. So I think you need to understand what is happening, why this is happening, what this lesson is teaching you and how can you take advantage of it in order for you to grow thanks to this one. Because it shouldn't actually be something that's blocking you on the road, it should actually be a redirection for you to experience the best. So I truly believe this is teaching you this lesson and if you're not really understanding which direction to take, I truly believe you need to stick within and understand how this is improving yourself and not how this is destroying yourself because this is not going to build you any stronger. There it is. And I truly believe this is something you need to experience in this lifetime. Maybe you signed for it as a lesson, as a karma. And it can also be because you escaped this lesson somehow, um, maybe in the past, but also in your past lives so this is a calling from the universe from your guides telling you uh-uh you need to face it you need to learn this 
and if you don't understand this you are going to bring this with you again and again and again some people do not want to believe in karma some people do not want to believe that this is going to manifest for our best or this is just toxic blah 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 no this is here to give you the power as i said this is not here to destroy you so when you understand how this was beneficial for your own growth how this is pushing you to grow and to become the best your best self then you understand the beauty of karma so this is the calling for you i'm seeing the angel announcing the end of the contract because you can see this contract this one is holding so in my opinion a lot of you are breaking this a lot of you are actually making this change re redirecting themselves healing themselves so they can announce this new relationship and i'm saying this because i'm single number two here so this is union and the number zero is completion so this chaotic thing that happened was needed in order for you to find yourself back to find love back within yourself so you can actually welcome someone that is right in your reality someone that is going to be your pillar i'm seeing these pillars again and you could see them here so you becoming your own pillar is going to allow you to manifest a relationship that is going to offer you stability. And this is your calling now. So I think if you saw this reading and if you are still in this very harsh energy, something that's painful, something that is blocking you to express yourself, something that is very difficult, it is time for you to free yourself. This is your calling. This is the right time. So work on yourself, free yourself, because you deserve to experience the best. The Eye Priestess, and again we have the number two, so this union is going to manifest. Be ready, because I truly believe the angels, your guides, they're working on this, and they worked on this lesson for you to awaken and to actually manifest the right person for you. And I truly believe the one you will attract is going to grow to go to, through these phases so you are going to recognize yourself in this person you are going to recognize that they have been in very painful relationships but through them they have been growing beautifully and this is what is going to be beautiful about maybe your path or maybe this person's path because if you do not recognize yourself in this one it can be that this is what this person will have to go through before actually being with yourself because this is only when they will be completely healed when they will find justice and fairness that they will actually understand this calling and be directed towards you because this open path behind the angel is actually a symbol of openness this door is being open for you two to be with each other and the eye priestess is actually someone that is very powerful someone that is understanding their power using their intuition so this is also telling you if you have been residing in this energy if you have been disappointed or hurt it in the past this is telling you to use your intuition to select the one that is going to come for you because if you do not listen to how you feel, how this person may you feel, this is going to be difficult for you to see beyond the illusion, beyond what they may project, because people only show their best sides in the very beginning. Let's not lie to each other. So you really need to see the depth in them before welcoming this person. I'm also seeing a lot of stars here. So you are being guided. Try to see synchronicities, symbols, visions, and understand what they are actually here for. What are they telling you in order for you to be directing yourself towards the right person? So now I'm going to share two messages the universe wants to tell you. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am being guided. I think I just said it. But yeah, you need to... And it's funny, you can see the dragonfly. And the dragonfly is about change, showing you the direction, someone that is free, offering you freedom. So this, in my opinion, is directing yourself towards someone that is going to offer you all of that. And even emotional stability and freedom in order for you to be stable with that person. Because these pillars can be you becoming your own pillar, but this is also offering some type of stability in a relationship. So trust the direction the universe is showing you because I truly believe this will be the right person for you. But now you have to heal yourself if you are still residing in this energy. And the last one. I choose to learn through love. 
This is beautiful. And I think you experience this in order for you to understand and learn what true love is. Because you're not going to be fooled anymore. You want something deep. You want something strong. You want something that is going to heal yourself and that is going to be fair. I'm also seeing some type of people were unfaithful to you so now you want justice. You want to actually be around someone that is going to commit to you, that is going to offer you security and stability in your relationship. And trust me, the universe is going to direct yourself towards this path, towards this person. All right, I think this is pretty much what I see. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up and let me know down below what you think about this one, if it was accurate for you. And if you're new, do not forget to subscribe. Let's move on to the last group. And the last group. So the first card is a strength card. So this is Leo energy here. All right, so this is actually talking about inner strength, courage, and someone who is compassionate. What I'm saying is that this may be someone who is very, very strong, very courageous, very excited. Someone who is very successful as well. I'm seeing Leo energy, so they are actually people that are very successful. They are doers. They want something to manifest, and if they want it, they are going to put their entire energy into it. I'm seeing romance. So it may be someone that is romantic with the roses here. I'm seeing some infinite symbol here. So it can be someone you knew in a past life and now you're manifesting this circle again, this person again, because you probably made a contract with this person. But this is someone who is stable, someone who wants security, something, something peaceful. They don't want conflict, they don't want someone that is going to pressure them, they don't want someone that is not going to love themselves fully. So the one may be someone who is very strong, very courageous, um, maybe someone who has a very strong ego <laughs> or is a bit of a narcissistic because this is someone who wants to be seen, they want to actually be acknowledged, they want to yeah, have a very beautiful image, especially with the lovers. They really want to be loved for who they are, for what they do. They, they want to make people proud of themselves. This is what I'm saying here. So I think this is probably the energy you are going to attract. I'm also seeing the mountains. So this is someone you can commit to. This is someone who is faithful, for sure. And this is someone who is strong, like the mountains, and also someone who is grounded. So as I said, this is not someone that is going to seek for something that is just a little experience. They want commitment, they want structure, they want security, they want someone who can see them fully. And the number eight here is a symbol of reflection and meditation. So this may be someone who is very calm and wants to reflect on um, their relationships, but also you need to reflect on who you want to attract, what, what person, what type of person is going to be a fit for you in order for you to attract this type of person. But I truly believe this is the energy of what is revolving around you, what um, energy you may attract very soon. The Nine of Wands. So this is a symbol of readiness, resilience and force of will. This is very connected to the other card. This is someone who is just a fighter, a doer, as I said. And you can see this on this card. She is actually ready to give her everything to manifest growth because you can see these ones kind of growing out of the soil, but also the nature blooming, growing with her. So in my opinion, this is someone who has been through battles, but this is someone who has been growing beautifully. I'm seeing the sun behind, so this can be the divine masculine entering your life, bringing warmth, stability, light, happiness, joy, something that is going to be just fun. I think this person wants to have fun, wants to be secure, wants to actually have a person they can count on. And again, you can see the mountains on the background. So this is a symbol of groundness, someone who is strong, someone that is courageous. And this is pretty much what these two cards are talking about. I'm also seeing the sun kind of clearing away the darkness. So this is someone who is going to be a good supporter, a good listener, someone who is going to understand you deeply because they are very intelligent and they can see the depth in people. 
I'm also seeing some type of defensive energy on this card. So it can be that maybe in the very beginning, this person may be distant. This person may actually analyze you before being welcoming with you. So try to be aware of this. Maybe in the very beginning, they will move slow. And this is because they want to be sure that you are a right fit for them. The Knight of Wands. So this is a symbol of energy, adventure, passion, action, and impulsiveness. Yeah, I mean, if this isn't connected, I don't know how to say this. This is all about taking actions, being in action, being in motion, manifesting magic because they know what they want and way, when they see it, they're going to seek for it, no matter what. So this is someone who is unstoppable. If this person is wanting you, if, if this person is saying that you are the one, they are going to do their everything to actually be with you. So be prepared for it because this is someone who wants something strong, something that is going to be passionate, very loving, very empowering, because I'm seeing that they are energized by you, by, by the love you emanate, by your essence. And again, I'm seeing this moon on the background. So this is a symbol of dream. This is a symbol of emotions. So I think they are seeking for something that is going to allow them to feel good emotionally and that is going to be aligning with their dream person and if they see you I mean they're going to seek for you they're going to do their everything to be with you so be ready for this because I'm seeing someone who is persistent someone that is going to fight to be with you that is going to see the beauty in you I'm also believing that if you connect with this person if you actually make this person aware that you are very open to this relationship, they're not going to wait. They're not going to wait because they want you. They want to be with you. They're not going to overthink about it. Maybe in the very beginning, they'll be a bit, you know, distant or maybe they will analyze everything. But when they know you are a fit, things are going to move quickly with you too. The five of wands. So this is a symbol of competition and ego, as I said before. Yes, it can be someone who has a bit of ego. This is someone who wants to be seen and you can see some type of competition. This person wants his magic to be seen. And I'm seeing fire sign, fire, fire, fire and Leo. So this is definitely someone who is strong. And this is someone who wants everyone to see that they are strong. They really want to be seen. They have this pride within themselves. And they are not really bad people because they actually understand that they are doing their everything. And they want to actually make people aware that they have a lot of potential. And this is what you can see here. Everyone is wanting to show their own magic. And this one is also wanting to bring their piece to the cake. So this is what I'm saying here. This person may actually want to impact people. They want to actually shine. They want to, yeah, be around people that are going to make them feel good. And this can be a bit ego-centered, but I'm, I'm not saying this as very toxic. This is just someone who is good and wants to be seen as someone who is good. You can also see the number five here. So this is a number of creation and balance. So I think this may be the mission of this person because even though he's a bit ego-centered, I truly believe he needs to actually find more balance within himself, uh, more balance about how they think about themselves so they can actually be more humble. And maybe you are going to be the one that is going to inspire them to be more like this. I'm also seeing the mask here. And the helmet so maybe you do not know who the one is for you yet but this person is going to reveal themselves when the timing will be right when you two will be welcoming of this new beginning the hermit yes so I think you will need some time alone before engaging yourself in this relationship or maybe this person will have to take this time alone but I truly believe they have been working alone because I think this person is very successful with what they do and this is because they were really dedicating their entire time and energy to that growth of business, of career, of project, of dream because they really wanted to be successful and I'm seeing them only opening this door when they will understand that you are the key of the locket, you are a match for them because otherwise they're not going to welcome you. They're not going to make you enter. So if you feel like there is something resisting, 
you in this in this relationship it can be that this is because they're not seeing you truly so you need to be authentic you need to reveal yourself openly so they can understand that they are safe around you that you're not going to come here to take advantage of them or what they possess or something like this because this is not love this is just materialistic communication and communion so this is not something that is going to align with love and they are wanting love they are wanting growth they're not going to want something out of you so you are not supposed to expect them giving materially to you but something that is going to be more of love and care support understanding being a listener someone that is very very cuddly and touchy this is what i'm saying here so what i'm saying so in my opinion, this may be someone who is a bit of an hermit in the very beginning. This is someone who is going to take their time, especially in the very beginning. But afterward, when they understand you are the right person, this door is going to open super fast, so be ready. I'm seeing change coming for you. And the number nine is about change also and chaos before perfection. So I think they needed to experience maybe some type of pain in order for them to kind of reflect on their life, on what they want in a relationship, in order for them to rebuild themselves and to really improve their lives, to be their best self, to offer their partner the best. The Four of Cups. So this is a symbol of apathy, distraction, daydreams and reverie. There we go. The Hermit is actually a bit of a daydreamer. They want something very pure, they want the perfect match and they're not going to welcome someone that is lower than this. So they can be seen as someone who is too demanding because they have their own opinions or dreams about a person and they're really set on these. So if you're not a match, uh -uh, this door is going to remain closed. And I mean, you or other people. But I truly believe this is the one for you. This is someone who is a bit selective with who they are going to welcome in their life because they want something precious. You can see this mermaid holding this pearl, understanding how precious this pearl is. So I am seeing you as this one, as this pearl, this mermaid is holding. This is someone who is wanting some type of luxury in their life but also in their relationship they want to show off a little bit they want to just be like hey look look at my partner isn't this person just amazing isn't this person just so precious and beautiful and this is what is going to make them even more proud of themselves because they can attract someone that is special see so i truly believe this person is going to be like this and yeah i'm just picturing this this very proud, proud person that, yeah, is just seeking for someone that's special, just to kind of show off, but also for, for them to be happy and for them to experience the best in their romance. So now I'm going to share two messages to end this reading. So the first one is, my fearless freedom lights up the world. This is someone who is so bright, I can tell. I can tell this is... This is just someone who wants to have fun, this is someone who wants to be around positive people. They want to shine freely, fearlessly with people around them. And this is what is going to offer them freedom, for them to shine even more brighter. So they are going to be a bit selective with their company. And I think this is great because they are protect protecting their energy and their own self by just sticking around positive people. And the last one. Happiness is my birthright. <laughs> yes, and again, this is a very bright card. You can see a lot of yellow, so joy, happiness, warmth, warmth, light, stability. Yeah, this is someone who is just very warm, especially when they connect with you. When they see you are someone that is not going to take advantage of them or just come for, I don't know, some type of disrespectful reason or materiality so when you will bond with this, with this person when you will connect with this one this will be a beautiful relationship i can guarantee it so yeah just be prepared for this i i just think this energy is just fun <laughs> i'm just smiling i mean during the entire reading i was just smiling because i can picture the type of person this may be Alright, if you like this video, please put a thumbs up and let me know down below what you think about this one, if it was I create for you. And also, do not forget to subscribe if you're new. I will see you very soon, Crystal, so take good care of you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.